Nerys Cathan is a support and healer champion who worships Kelimvor, god of death. And she has some pretty cool mechanics that helps people out. So, because it's available right here, her specialization options might be a little quick, but sorry for that. Uh, for Nerys, she is a support champion, and her specializations help her in uh, either respect. She does heal, but she can also improve her spiritual weapon's effect. Generally, I would recommend to uh, select Kelimvor's Will and improve the power of spiritual weapon because healing is not as effective because Calliope's buff is so ridiculously good that by the time it's gone, this minor amount of healing would be ineffective, especially since the trigger mechanic is a little particular. What is the trigger mechanic? Well then, whenever a uh, creature is or an enemy is killed, uh, Neris heals the most damage champion within two slots by a set amount. Her specialization option adds the 50% to that as well. So theoretically, if a lot of things died, you could get a lot of healing off. But if they're dying really quickly, you probably haven't taken damage. So most times you're going to go the spiritual uh, spiritual weapon route. Now, what does her spiritual weapon do? At first, it uh, supplements her own attack. But quickly, we see that the spiritual weapon will now follow the champion with the highest DPS and attacks when they do, dealing damage based on there. So it's an increased effect. And you would say, oh, it's just the same attack. No, no, no. It adds it's a 6e5 more than what Warden hits for. So I, if you just saw, Warden hit for 92. The spiritual weapon dealt 97. Rounding whatevers and stuff. Or it, it was close to that. That's a huge bonus. So it's very, very useful on uh, people who, qu who attack quickly. Uh, apart from that, very normal stuff. She's a slot 12, so she doesn't really get too many upgrades, but they are powerful. That was one part of the tanking and healing is uh, later champions have better scaling because you know, they only get X amount of upgrades. So she does take up slot 12 in the same spot as Arkan and Azaka, uh, as well as Zorbu. If you want to not use Arkan, then she's a very good option. Really, you have to ask yourself, how much can you usurp? And is that greater than Neris's buffing someone else for all those hits and stuff. Uh, or it could just be a playstyle that, uh, that uh, a playstyle choice that you have to make. In general, she is a very strong buffer. Where is she? She is in total providing almost three E9, which uh, before the previous good buffer was Azaka, who gives almost three E5. So we're seeing a um, what is that? 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. That's 10,000 more, right? Yeah, 10,000 more damage using Neris. Pretty cool. The weapon is a single target. So if you have someone who is doing an AoE, it could blend in nicely because, hey, all right, a bunch of stuff is getting hit and then one thing in particular is dying or it can just be a single target attack as well. I mean, that's small uh, distinctions, but some people make make those playstyle choices for their own balancing reasons. Uh, let's see. Neris is an awfully strong lass uh, who is lawful good and is part of the Heroes of Baldur Gate, a new affiliation which links Delina, Minsk, and Neris together, theoretically more in the future. Um, she is a cleric human and... Overall, a strong buffer. Her ultimate uh, deals damage to everyone, reducing their damage, and increases party damage at the same time. So her, her ult is very useful to use because it increases the damage. I think it's like by E2, but still every little bit helps there. <sighs> Alrighty, well, that was Neris Kathan. Very useful. Pick her up when you can. She is a darn good buffer. And you guys have a great day.